welcome back to Skyrim Episode 5. Um, when I was last playing, I was heading to the Greybeards, and then died and realized I needed a horse. So I came all the way back here, bought a horse, now I gotta head back up to uh, the Greybeards, which are like way... Where are they? I think I have to go here. I don't know, let me check. Uh, oh. No. No. Start. Speak with the Greybeards. So, let's head. Let's put this over there. And not and get on the horse. Damn. Running. Oh, right, there we go. So, yeah. I gotta run all the way back, or go all the way over there again. But this time, I can get there faster, because I have a, a horse that, you know, somewhat goes faster than an average person. I'm gonna charge because he's badass. Fat horse. Stupid horse. Alright, now I got to I have to run across this unless there's a oh there is a bridge. But I don't want to go over there. So let's uh, run across the water. Go to this side. That's not see the wolf. We'll go away. Got a maneuver. Okay. Oh, there's a wolf. Hello, Wolfie. down there. Mountain and over the bridge, whatever. I think I lost Lydia, so 
gonna have to. I don't know, wait for her to catch up or just keep going until I get there. What the hell? Here, kill. Oh yeah, it was a troll. I was trying not to spot that troll again. Cause if I do, I'm probably gonna die again. take longer to get there, but uh, I guess not with a horse. I did it again. Didn't go on the path. But I uh, don't care. I just about made it. Well, made it to the city at least. That's where I actually have to go. Alright, so I made it here. Now we're gonna go up there. Ah, uh, stupid no stamina thing. Trying to piss me off. I'll just jump it. Hello, person. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're. Don't go setting the place on fire, okay? Why not? Be fun. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh. Hello, goat. Burn, goat. Walking, this walking. Jump, 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 jump. Troll up here, but I'm not 100% sure. I mean, if there is, I'm probably gonna die. And of course, damn. Damn it, Lydia. Help me. He's still coming. Really? Really? Damn. So you better go away. Stupid. It's the most boringest thing ever I've ever done. Dragonborn appears at yes. this moment in yes. the turning of the age. Yes. We will see if you truly have the gift. 
Oh, really? Oh, Show I have to shout the entire Dragon time. Born. Can I use it against the... I don't the taste of your voice. Okay. Um. There you go. Dragonborn, it is you. Yay. Welcome to Hut. I am Master Angir. I speak yeah, for the great eyebrows. You have a lazy eye, right? Tell me, Dragonborn. Okay. Why have you come here? Um, I don't know. We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. Cool. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. Um, all right, you have shown that step. you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? That remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thoom, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. Dude, you're really... All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. <sighs> master Arnoth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Fus or da. Definitely. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Not really, I just well, have to kill a dragon. The rest of us learn shouts. As dragonborn, yeah, there you, you go. can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. <sighs> Thank you. Now, let us see how quickly you can master your new form. What do you want me to do? Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Okay. Hello. Boosh! Let's go. You learn quickly. Once more. That's really awesome. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. You walk so slow. Jeez. 
How long does it take one person to walk from? To keep him run. No. We here in like five minutes. Keep there he is. Played this game. Master Bori. X. Wolf. Me. Now, your turn. Alright, let's go. Stand next to me. Master yeah. Bori will open the gate. Shut up. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass We're through fine. before it closes. Alright, let's go, let's go. Open. X. Wolf. Bang, there we go. I win. Your quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. All right. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. Yep. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengraf. Well, I'm gonna have to do that Remain next episode to the because way of the voice. I've run out of time. You will return. Because you guys are so s damn slow. Jeez. Alright, well, as I said, I'm going to end it. Uh, if you like this video, please comment, subscribe, and like it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Alright, peace.